but this has to get done tonight has to so for all my natural beauties out there if you do not know this please know do not dry your hair with a regular towel that you dry your body off with please use a 100% cotton t-shirt or a microfiber towel or paper towels. Do not use regular towels because that will break your hair off. So yes, do you not look at these baby hairs just laying like laying with water. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm going to start twisting and I'm going to use the lock method L-O-C alpha liquid which will be both my water and my leave-in conditioner that I'm almost out of and I'm so mad <laughs> that I'm not going to be able to use all of this today. I'm going to have to use some of this Cantu Shea Butter because all the other ones that I've bought, I don't like them. They make my hair like really dry. Then the O for the oil. Again, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil that I use. But I'm also running low on this too. I did not go shopping before this video. So I'm going to use my mom's <laughs> to make it like pastel. And then for the C, the cream, I have that. <laughs> I'm using Shea Moisture Holy Grail Curl Enhancing Smoothie Coconut Hibiscus Scent. Everybody on the YT knows that this junk smells so good. Like... <laughs> So yes, let's get started. That deep conditioner worked wonders on my hair. Like, look at that. Oh, my curls ain't popping like usual right now. But yes, we're gonna spritz with a little water. We're gonna split this twist and. Clip it. <laughs> Should I try? <laughs> We're gonna try to do a little bit. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing at all. No, oh, we might. Oh, we got a little bit up. <laughs> this one twist gonna have it on. Then we're going to use some of this. Dime size them out. I usually overload my hair with cream and oh, I just want my hair to feel soft. <laughs> Even when it's overboard, I like for it to feel soft. I don't have on the gloves right now because I like to feel my hair when I'm twisting it. Like actual twists that are going to set my curls for days. So yes. My detangling comb. I'm going to show you in a second. I have to wipe it off a little bit. Detangling comb. Please get you on these. Start from the bottom up. I got a little bit of heat damage, y'all. Straighten my hair. But it's okay. It is okay. So we're going to start twisting with a little bit from the top. And then slowly grab more hair. 
and add it on as you twist. This will add volume. I'm looking at the mirror right here too. This will add volume. And your curls will be popping. Popping, popping, popping. And you twirl the ends. And there is your pretty twist. Now, since I do have heat damage, I am going to use a perm rod at the bottom. So all my curls will be easy. I have the fuchsia looking ones. And I have the white ones. I'm going to put a white one on this one. Going to roll up. Oh, if I can grab it. Roll up. Then, bam. Twist anchor. Now I have to do this all over my head. How wonderful. But yes. I'm going to continue twisting and curling my hair. And when I'm done, I will be back. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm on my last twist. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. I don't know what I just said. I said let's get Anyway. So I'm digging in here to get some of the shea butter out because it's no drip, like it says on the bottle. They are not playing any games. Can two is not playing any games. Okay. So I rub some of this in my hair. Then a little bit of the Jamaican black castor oil. I actually use my whole head with this, y'all. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. Then do a little bit of the curl enhancing smooth. A little bit more. And I'm going to comb through. Yeah. And I'm going to separate hair. The top, I'm going to start twisting a few times. Then, I'm going to grab this extra hair and put it in the twist. And twist it all down. I hope you all can hear me. Putting some more curl enhancing smoothie. Going all the way down. <laughs> oh, still going. Okay. And twirl the end a little bit. Grab a perm rod. And I'm rolling all my curls up. Oh, if I can grab it. <laughs> all my twist up. Look at my mirror. Then, voila, <laughs> let me check before I get too excited and I have some strings left, no, me and mother are done, <laughs> yes ma, we did it, yes, oh, uh, yes God, so, I'm so happy I can go to sleep now, y'all understand, anyway, so now I am going to put on my bonnet and go to sleep and let these set in for a day or two. 
And when I come back, I'm going to unravel them and reveal this natural beauty. This goddess. <laughs> See you later. Okay, bells and bows. My hair has been setting in these perm rods for like a day and a half. So now it's time to take them out. So, to take out your curls, use a light oil, either jojoba oil or olive oil. So we're going to undo the perm rod and twirl it down like this to keep the curl. And now we're going to put a little jojoba oil on our fingertips. Just a little bit, if you can see that. Rub it down the twist and curl. Find an opening. I'm looking at my mirror. Sorry, guys. An opening and unravel with the twist twist going all the way up make sure it's all the way unraveled and there you go I'm going to do my whole head like this and then I will come back and start to separate them so I'm going to do one more with you guys a little bit of jojoba oil because I still have some from the last twist on my fingers a little bit I have a little bit too much on my fingers like this find an opening And go all the way up the hair shaft with the twist. Then make sure it's unraveled. There you go. Alright, bells and bells, I'll be right back. Okay, bells and bells, so I am back with all of my rods out. And the shrinkage is real, okay? <laughs> so now it's time for the fun part, which is the styling. So first, I'm going to shake my curls and see how much separating I can get from that. Okay, so shake, shake, shake. Shake. <laughs> Barely anything. I'm not going to separate them with my fingers too much today, but this is how I would do it. That take my fingers down and twirl both ends, and it pops right back. Yeah, I'm not going to do that many. Down, twirl, and twirl. <laughs> All right, now. I'm going to use my pick, handy dandy pick. Spray it with Cantu Oil Sheen, deep conditioning oil sheen. For my roots, gonna get some volume in here. hate that sound your hair makes 
whatever you're picking. I'm not going to pick too much today because at night I will do the pineapple method to preserve my hair and that will also help with stretching and second, third, and fourth day hair will be amazing with the pineapple stretching my hair and with me picking every day now to get more volume up top and in the back you're going to flip your hair over and pick like this. Get more volume when you bend over like that. See? Right now I'm trying to figure out what shape I want. Oh yes. First day here. You want to have these little tight Shirley templates. But tomorrow, oh, your hair is going to look so natural. So, yeah. This is it for today. I hope you all like my tutorial. And yes, yeah, so watch out for my Snapchat and my Instagram for second, third, and fourth day hair. But this will have to work for today because I have to go somewhere. <laughs> Alright, bells and bows. I'll see you all next time.